All right, question is, can you use a um, Clarity, Honda Clarity battery to operate a forklift? This battery is giving out already as a lead acid and we're just using this battery here. <laughs> There's a connector in there. There we go, the power of lithium. We're gonna have to build a battery. All right, all right, let's talk about this. So, uh, obviously doing this, using uh, you know these batteries on a 36 volt in, uh, the device like a forklift, it's, you're not gonna be able to use all the batteries. So, we did some tests and we realized that you can go up to about 46 volts before the forklift tells you that you got uh, over voltage. Right, so at 46 volts, I think you're only, you're at like 75% of the battery capacity, right? And the forklift will go down and it doesn't start throwing low voltage warnings until you're like around 35 or 34 or something like that, right? So this, this, until the cells are like at three volts. So that's, that's, that's the bottom of the cells, right? So um, in our use case, this forklift, at one point we were using it, you know, there was days that we were offloading, you know, 40,000 pounds, you know, a full truckload, you know, 30 pallets or something like that. But lately we, we're not doing that as much, right? So we kind of let it sit there for weeks and then we like move around a pallet or move around another pallet. We go across the campus here because our warehouses are separate and, you know, there's one over here, one over there. Um, so we don't use it as much. So I'm like, I, do I fix the stupid lead acid battery? That's a, that's a $2,000 battery, right? Now, the problem with that battery is that I can't remove it because it's part of the counterweight. It literally weighs 2,000 pounds, right? And it's only, when it was brand new, it's only about 12 kilowatt hours, right? So about 12 of those um, Honda Clarity batteries. So it's not a lot of battery that's in there. And by the way, that would last like all day, I think, right? And then it had a fast charger and stuff. But we don't need that. We just need that for it to move around. You know, tomorrow I got a couple of pallets coming. So I need it to work for like half hour. You know, that's how long it would probably take me to offload two pallets. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is just gonna strap one of those in there and then just charge it up to 46 volts and then just use it because why not instead of char i really dislike lead acid batteries because of the acid i don't even like touching them because they get all that stuff on the terminals i think this is a great uh you know use case where like you can use a, a cheap hundred dollar battery put it in there you just use it yeah you don't get to use 100 percent of the battery but guess what it's really cheap you're still gaining something for 100 bucks you know on the cost of like that connector you're ready to go. And there might be the use case for other things, maybe like a 36 volt uh, golf cart, for example, right? Uh, I, on, in our case, on our forklifts, I could just strap two or three of those, charge them, you know, put them in parallel, charge them to 46 volts, and I can get an hour, an hour and a half, you know, uh, use uh, for those. Those, they're tiny, they're small, tiny. We could just strap them in top there we're like we're running around you know or we can strap them on the side i don't know we can find a place for them on the on the top of the forklift you know i these things are really small and and it might be the same case for like a golf cart or something you know depending there might be some golf carts that go that are really wide with their range of batteries you can go higher if they're 36 or maybe lower if they're 48 or whatever so this is just another example. I just needed a quick battery. I needed a forklift to work today, and I thought, wow, let's throw one of these in here. Let's see what that does. And obviously, these batteries can put out the amperage that the forklift needs, so that's why we can get away doing this with the tiny little battery, right? So there you go. Just a quick little update on the Hana Clarity batteries, how we're using them and stuff, and you know, another use case where you could use a really affordable battery. You can do hackery like what we do around here, right? So, all right. Thank you for watching this video. See you. Uh, next one.